have a question for a friend. So he has a 10-year green card. His daughter came to the U.S. on a B1, B2 visa. She's 11 years old and she's out of status. He wants to know if he can file for her. Yes. Where's the mother? She's over here, but she's not in status. But he has a a 10-year green card. Okay. How long did how did he get his green card? Through marriage. Well, yeah. If the wife does the wife want to sponsor him, she can adjust her status immediately. So if if his wife files for the adjustment as a stepmother. For this 11-year-old child, this 11-year-old child can adjust status immediately. If the father's going to do it, he would file an I-130 visa petition, get it approved. She would go back to her home country and return. So it's much better if the stepmother's willing to do it. If not, then yes, the father can do it. I had a quick question. My wife gave birth abroad. Uh, I'm filing for her. Do I need to file a separate case for my child or do I just uh, request them to add uh, this is, the child this, on this, the is, this is your child? Yes. And you're a citizen or a resident? Citizen. How long have you been in the United States? Uh, About 14 years. Okay. That child's an automatic U.S. citizen. So you would just file an I-130 visa petition for your wife, and then you would bring the child into the U.S. Embassy to get a certificate of a, of a a council record of a certificate of birth abroad and apply for a U.S. passport. Can you bring an illegitimate child to the U.S.? An illegitimate child? Yes. My wife is a U.S. citizen. I became a lawful permanent resident after she petitioned for me. I have two sons from my previous marriage in Africa who are planning to come join us here in the U.S. Can my wife petition for them or should I file for them myself? If the marriage happened before your kids were 18, your wife should file for them. If that happened after your kids were 18, you file for them. Is N-600 a good form for my son? He came when he was 17. I just became a citizen, but he's now 20 years old. No, he has to do naturalization when he's 22, five years after he got his green card. I am a U.S. citizen and my daughter is 32 years old with three kids. How long will it take for her and my grandkids to get their green cards if I file this year? Seven years. I'm filing for that kid. Do I need to do an additional work permit for him too? Well, how old is he? Seven. Uh, You know, obviously a seven-year-old is not going to go to work, but you do the work permit anyway, A, because it doesn't cost you anything. It's free. And two, it, with the work permit, it gets him his social security card, which he should have. My husband niece came from Nigeria to here, and I adopt her la- last year. But when I when I get her adoption paper, she become she became um, sixteen, and the same day she get a um, adoption paper, she was sixteen. I put in for I one thirty, and they denied. Did, yes. Do, uh, problemos. Do any- problemos. Um. Where did you do the adoption? Here, here. Did the judge know that he had to sign or she had to sign the adoption before the 16th birthday? Did anybody tell the judge that? Yeah, she did sign it. I don't remember if she signed it. I don't remember if she signed it. What, I, what would happen? That you need, I need to see the adoption paperwork and we'll have to figure out if we can go back to a judge and ask them to redate the adoption for one day earlier. You can make a motion to do that based on extenuating circumstances. My wife filed for my son who is in Jamaica. The only thing that we heard from them it was in September of last year, the 18th of September, that they are um, reviewing his case. Yeah, and your wife's a it. citizen? Yes, she is. And how old is your son? He's under 21? Yeah, um, he's 18 now. Yeah. It, uh, well, 18, he's under 20, the Child Status Protection Act. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that because Jamaica is so backed up, even if the case was approved today, it's going to be at least another year before he gets here. Um, they're taking over a year to approve I-130s, and the consul in Jamaica is a disaster right now. Probably okay. second to only Haiti, which is worse. Okay. So, so just they, so just, um, just hang out for a few months. If you don't get an approval... By, you know, summertime, give me a call back. You can't stay legal in the United States because your U.S. citizen mother filed for you if you're over 21 years old. So you're going to come on a visitor's visa. Your mother's going to file for you. Your visitor's visa is up in six months and you're going to be illegal out of status for seven years. If you become a citizen after your child is born, your child's outside of the United States, that child gets nothing. 
You have to file an I-130 visa petition for that child, bring that child here with a green card, and when that child lives with you under 18, that child becomes an automatic U.S. citizen. To sponsor your married children as a U.S. citizen, because you can't do it with a green card, you can only do it when you're a citizen, it's going to take, unfortunately, close to 15, 18 years. Huge, huge backlogs. I'm a green card holder, United States of America, and I just want to find out if it's advisable for me to fight for my children to join me. How did you get your green card? Um, through diversity lottery. Okay, so you have, uh, you've had your green card for how long now? Um, for one year, three months. And, and how old are your children? Um, the first child is 15 years, and the second one is nine years. Okay, you should file for your children. They were all listed. They were all listed on the forms on my diversity lottery forms, mm -hmm. but due to some monetary issues. Sure, you, so, you left them uh, behind. I understand you left yes. them behind, so you can get yourself organized here. And once you're organized, then you can bring them over. I totally understand. Sorry, come again. I said I understand. You left them behind because you had to get yourself organized here and situated here and make sure that you and can provide for them. And now that you have that done, you can file what's called an I-130 visa petition. You file an I-130 for I the 15-year-old, you file an I-130 for the 9-year-old. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.